Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to take a look and listen to the Pultec 500X EQ and the 500 series module. I bought this uh, about a month or so ago. I've been using it for a while, really like it. You guys have asked me to do a review on it and tell you what I think of it. So that's what we're gonna to do today. So we're gonna to listen to this on, let's say a kick drum, maybe even a snare, maybe an acoustic and a bass. It's where I kind of use it most on bass. We're just gonna put it on a few different things, give you an opportunity to listen to it and check it out and see what you think. Um, this is not a sponsored video in any way. I bought this with my own money. I'm just doing this for you guys because you guys asked me to do it. But before we get started, make sure you like, share, subscribe, please. Also, if this is your uh, first time checking out my channel, also go check out mixingmusicanalog.com. Um, and yeah, do that for me and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below about this video. So, Pultec EQ, love them, right? So I have two Pultecs. I have the uh, tube version, which is the Audioscape EQP1A, which we've done a review on the channel uh, before. And then recently I bought uh, the Pultec from Pulse Technologies from Sweetwater, the uh, 500X, which is a 500 series uh, style EQ. Now the difference between the two is the Audioscape, the traditional Pultec is all tubes. The 500 series is all solid state and they sound a little different. Now, if you wanna compare the tube version to the, to the solid state version, leave a bunch of comments below. If we get at least 10 people who say they wanna see that comparison, I'll do a video follow up on that. We'll compare the two just so you can hear the difference between tubes and solid state. They do sound a little different. And I really dig the solid state one. So I originally bought this Pultec because I wanted to put it on my bass chain. I love it on bass. We're gonna to listen to it on bass. That's typically where it's kind of strapped across my bass uh, insert. Uh, but we're gonna to listen to it on a few different things today. Now the link will be in the description box below if you wanna purchase this at Sweetwater. And that is an affiliate link. Thank you so much in advance. I think they're about 14 or 1500 bucks as, as I sit here today, the recording of this video, which is great. If you bought a real Pultec, like a, like a two bass, like a real one, you're probably looking in the mid 3000s for something new. And if you, and that's mono, and if you bought um, a vintage one, they skyrocket from there. Uh, so this is a really, for half price, literally, uh, you could get this 500 series and it really does sound great. So let's go over there and um, we'll take a walk to the controls and then we'll listen to it on a few different sources. So the song that we're gonna be using today, this is a brand new session. I just pulled it up on the console. All I did was balance the faders. I didn't touch EQ. There's nothing going on. It's just raw tracks. This is from an artist. I'll give you a little sample of what the song sounds like because even unmixed, it sounds great. This is a great country artist. Uh, Lori Cole is her name. We've done some uh, music from her in the distant past a couple of years ago on this channel. I'm gonna put all her links in the description box below. Thank you so much for Lori for allowing me to use the session here out on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Go show her some love if you dig country music, you're gonna love Lori's music. And a little birdie told me she has some new music coming not too far in the distant future. So make sure you go check her out. Links will be in the description box below. So before we kind of patch this in and start on a kick drum, let's just listen to the first uh, intro verse chorus of this song. Again, it's not mixed at all. It's just push faders up. And one great thing when you're working with great artists like Lori Cole, and when you're working with great gear, like an SSL console, you just push the faders up and the record almost sounds 75% done before we've done a single thing to it, which is great. Here's a little bit of Bare Feet and Butterflies, which is the name of the track. Um, let's take a little sample of Lori Cole. Here we go. Summertime and there's tiger lilies waking up on the side of the road. I've been chasing my tail way too long and it's time that I go home. I gotta water my roots and fill my boots with memories and good old friends. Going home is like a kind of therapy. The only place where I'm gonna find me is down. 
we go. I mean, a completely raw track, and it already sounds almost done. There's just a touch of reverb I put on her lead vocal. That's it. Great song. This is going to be a lot of fun to mix. We're going to do an Inside the Mix series with this. Um, this will, I think this song or another one of Lori's songs is going to be part of the next hybrid mixing course, by the way. Hybrid mix. Uh, hybrid mixing country is coming up. It's either going to be this song of one of her other great tunes. So if you want to mix another one of Lori's songs or maybe even this one, make sure you you stay uh, close to uh, to the channel here, and we'll tell you about that when that comes out in the next few months. So anyway, let's check out the Pultec. So I'm sure you'll see it come up on the screen at one point. Um, I got it patched into the kick drum, so we're going to solo up the kick um, right here, and I'll look over here. And we're not. There's no EQ. There's no high pass filter. Zero. Nothing. I'm just going to put it up. I'm going to turn it up. I got the insert in. Let's go over to the pull tech. Uh, let's dial in a few sounds and let's just see what we have. Here we go. So what I love it on kick drum, never really used it on kick drum before, but it's got that pull tech thing where you have the boost and the cut, the attenuation, which is really cool. The frequency steps are a little different. Now the thing about the pull tech, the 500X, just so you know, the frequency selector is all stepped. So that's good for recall. The, uh, the boost or the cut is not, it's all just completely variable and sweepable. It's not stepped like a mastering version. I think they may make a mastering version of this. You have to check the link in the description box and go check it out at Sweetwater. But it has that very pull tech thing where you can really boost the low end, and you can cut it at the same time to get things nice and tight. Now, again, this is this is actually a kick drum, one kick track, but there's three kick mics in the DAW in Studio One, a kick in, a kick out, and a kick sub. They're just kind of basically blended and coming out here. So it's like three kick drums coming out to one fader, EQing only with the uh, with the pull tech there. And then again, at 8K, it's got that nice snap to it, which is really cool. So that's really cool. Sounds really great. Um, unlike the tube version, the tube version sounds a little bit more, and we'll do a video if I get enough comments, but just to give you some context of the sound differences, the, the EQP tube version by Audioscape has a little bit more of a pillowy effect. The tubes give it a little bit more of a softer transient, I feel, on something like a kick where the 500X, the solid state version, you get more point. That's what I kind of like about it. So that's on kick. Let's um, bring it over to a snare. Give me a second here to uh, unpatch it and I will uh, repatch it in and we'll put it on a snare and we'll see what the snare sounds like. Okay, we're back here. So we're on a snare. So again, we have uh, three snare tracks in Studio One that's being blended out here to one snare. It's just snare, top snare, bottom, and a sample. Quickly blended, no EQ, no compression, no nada. Coming right out to this fader here, patched into the Pultec 500X. Let's go listen to it, here we go.
Sounds good there too, man. I love that 100 hertz boost on that. Gets nice and thick and meaty on the bottom. Sounds really great. You know, again, having three different snare tracks blend, just blend it out to one and then trying to EQ just with that simple EQ, you got a little less control, but it just sounds good, man. I mean, I, I've said it before, I should have a pair of those. I should have a pair of those. Sounds really good. So that's snare, okay? So we got kick, we got snare. Let's try it on, um, oh, let's try it on acoustic guitar, shall we? Let's try it on acoustic. Give me a second to patch it in. I'll be right back and we'll listen to it on acoustic guitar. Okay, we're back. So we got an acoustic guitar here playing in the chorus of strums, acoustic. Let's take a listen. Let's go see what this sounds like. Patch it in here. See if we can dial in something that sounds good. There's an acoustic guitar again, it just sounds good. I mean, so, you know, have you ever used a pull tech, even a plug-in and put it on something and it didn't sound better? It always does. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. So what's really great about that is you have a pretty wide range, you know, going all the, from a boost or a cut standpoint, going all the way down, all the way up. It's very, very, there's a lot of, a lot of boosting and cutting that can be done. So you can really dial it in and fine tune it. It just sounds good, man. It just, it just really, really sounds good. Okay, last thing we're gonna do is Every, something that every lead singer loves, they love. So we're gonna solo up the vocal and we're gonna put it on Lori's vocal. Again, completely unmixed, just a little bit of reverb, but she's such a fantastic singer, who cares? Make sure you go check the links in the description box below. Let me uh, dial up a verse here and let's just hear how it works on a female vocalist. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So we have a lead vocal here. Again, no EQ, no compression, no nothing. Raw track as it was recorded, splash a reverb from our good friends at Audioscape, the XL305R. We've done a review on the channel about that hardware unit. That's a fantastic unit too. Let's play a little bit of Lori. Let's go over to the pull tech and let's see if we can dial in something that takes a great vocal and makes it even better. Here we go. It's summertime and there's tiger lilies waking up on the side of the road. I've been chasing my tail way too long and it's time that I go home. I gotta water my roots and fill my boots with memories and good old friends. Going home is like a kind of therapy, the only place where I'm gonna find me. It's down at the end of a dirt road I never left cause I never really let go Still the carefree innocent girl Whose little farm was her whole wide world 
I don't wear hand-me-downs and I don't chew crabgrass A lot of things are gone in my past Truth is deep down inside I'm still all about bare feet and butterflies It's summertime and there's tiger lilies waking up on the side of the road I've been chasing my tail way too long And it's time that I go home I gotta water my roots And fill my boots With memories and good old friends Going home is like a kind of therapy The only place where I'm gonna find me Is down at the end of a dirt road I never left cause I never really let go Still the carefree innocent girl Whose little farm was her whole wide world I don't wear hand-me-downs and I don't chew crabgrass A lot of things are gone in my past Truth is deep down inside I'm still all about bare feet and butterflies So again, sounds great. Pull tech sounds wonderful on vocals. I'm always using the EQP1A uh, by Audioscape. Um, that's kind of patched in the tube version. It's kind of patched into my lead vocal chain. I go right from a compressor right to that, and it always sounds great. Um, and the 500X is the same kind of thing. Again, it sounds a little different. It sounds a little different than the, than the tube version, but I mean, it's got that whole pull tech kind of vibe. You can boost a hundred Hertz on her voice. There's no low cut filter going on here. And then you can attenuate just to give her a little bit more chest. And again, we're doing it in solo. Obviously you'd be doing it in the context of the mix, but that's the pull tech 500 X 500 series module. I think it's great. Again, I'm going to get a second one at one point to have a pair of everything. Um, it sounds really, really good. Oh, you know what? Last thing, let's listen to it on bass because that's really why I bought it is for bass. I love it on bass. Let's dial up a bass here real quick. We'll do that and then we'll end this video. So here we go. Give me a second to uh, patch it in on bass and we will do that. Here we go. So there's bass guitar, and that's kind of usually how I set it. It's usually a little dab at 100 hertz, and I roll some of the attenuation off depending on the bass itself and how it was recorded, whether it's DI or an amp or a combination of both or what have you. Um, and then I usually put anywhere from, you know, 1K to 3K, little dab will do you. And it just kind of fattens up the bottom end. It makes it sit in the track really nice, and you get some of the upper frequencies to get it to poke through. 
I love that's primarily why I bought it. I really love it on bass. I use it all the time on bass. It kind of lives on my bass chain. So there it is. There's the Pultec 500X. Again, check the link in the description box below. Uh, go out to Sweetwater and help support the channel here. I really do appreciate it. And again, let me know in the comments below if we get at least 10. I'd like to see 20 comments where we say, yes, let's compare it to the Audioscape tube version so we could just hear the difference between a two Pultec and a solid state Pultec. Let me know in the comments below and I'd be glad to do that. Once again, make sure you like, share, subscribe, go out to mixingmusicanalog.com, help support the channel. And don't forget about the two uh, mixing hybrid courses that I have. I have one for pop rock and one for acoustic rock that was released in 2023. And we have a new one coming up, uh, mixing country, hybrid country with Lori Cole. And again, thank you, Lori, to letting us use this session and go make sure you check her out. Links will be in the description box below. And until the next time, I've been Dave with Mixed Music Analog. Thank you so much, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.